those little slides. You see what I'm saying? Jared Tones, Jared Tones, what's up y'all? I hope y'all are well out there. I'm Jaren, I'm a voice teacher and speech trainer and I break down different performances, different people speaking, different people singing, all the things like that. So we're gonna do some more of that today on this here video. Let me tell y'all something. People have hunted me down since yesterday about these videos, since yesterday. The videos appeared today, okay? So the day before they were released, people were hounding me about these videos already. And then today, when they were released, I was in the hair shop getting my hair done. Shout out to Tony, my girl Tony doing my hair. I was in the hair shop getting my hair done because I got to sing at a gala this weekend. And I'm getting text after text after text after DM after DM about these videos. And I knew they were coming, so I was looking for them earlier that morning, but I didn't see them. But child, y'all let me know they were alive and well on these here platforms. And so I was like, let me go make sure I record this because I know y'all gonna wanna see it. And I wanna see it too. I wanna talk about it too. This music is so nostalgic and so iconic to me. I remember singing this music when I was a little boy. I remember being in my youth choir at my old church, shout out to Phyllis Chapel, singing me church. I remember singing these songs, these very songs in that choir, okay? I had a little lead in Joyful Joyful, okay? So like, I remember between this and God's Property with Kurt Franklin, that changed the game for youth choirs. It changed the game. So let's get into it, y'all. I'm so excited to talk about this. They sound so good and they look so good to y'all. Let's get into it. It's so interesting with this warm up, this la la la. This is actually a very good warm up, like for real. The key changes in the arpeggios and the scales. It starts out in the scale. Da 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 da. That's where it starts. Then it goes la 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 la. You're spilling out a chord. Do do do. One three five eight three five one. Or do me so do me so do. But the first one is do re mi fa so fa mi re do. Or one two three four five eight one. You know, you know what I'm saying. So you have these scales and arpeggios in different key changes and things like that. It's actually a really cool warm up to do if you wanted to do that. You know, and kind of just work on your scales and arpeggios. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh happy day. Oh happy day. Yeah. When Jesus was. He has the same sound. Ah! 30 years ago. He still has the same sound. The same sound. It is so him. And he has this breathy approach. Oh happy day. And it's like a more mature version of the movie, you know, version, if you will. Because in the movie version, he's more timid at the beginning, right? So him being timid is kind of shown in the breathiness, even here in the character, right? So it's, oh, happy day. And you can see that mouth is spread. Oh, happy day. He's really going to keep it right here. It's kind of thicker folds, kind of chesty at times, but it's still very breathy and light. Yeah, smooth. Stand over here. Jesus, why? His lyrics is kind of sit a little higher too. It kind of gives that more brighter, mm, kind of a higher tone, not a higher pitch, but just higher in tonality. And it kind of has that spread shape. When Jesus was, when Jesus was, when Jesus was. See what I'm saying? He washed my sins away. little sway he taught me how to walk. I love that I love it to watch to watch to fight and pray to watch head voice chesty voice to watch so he's making it his own in today's realm in today's time it's 30 years ago 
it's literally 30 years ago. So you're going to sing a lot different in 30 years, you know, especially as a child versus an adult, you know, so your voice changes in 30 years. It changes a lot in 30 years, but he's still navigating it very well for what it is currently. And he still has the same sound. It's just an older 30 year later version of his voice. <laughs> using a lot of his head voice in this delivery again which is cool again your voice changes a lot in 30 years so he's doing a do 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 and live rejoicing kind of like that i'm not doing a run just like he's doing but you hear him switching between registers a lot that's okay to do because all these registers these vocal fold mass vibration changes it's one voice working in different ways you know it's not isolated head voice only chest voice only thick folds thin fold mm -mm. it's one big instrument working in different ways. So you can have different sounds and things like that happening in your voice, but it's still one voice. It's just how you want to use it. Right here. He's using more of his heady stuff. That's okay. It's part of his voice. It's cool. Oh. You see right here, oh, happy day. Way more heady, okay? Instead of, oh, happy day. He's not going more chesty. He's going way more heady here. He's keeping it lighter, keeping it cohesive to where he is right now vocally. And I respect that. I appreciate that. It's smart. It's very smart. Okay, I know you talk about Sister Act, but this line gets me every time. Oh, happy day. I'm going to just leave it here for those who believe. Oh, happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. I hope you are listening to these words. This song stirred me up, especially this part, Oh Happy Day, because think about it. How happy were you when you met Jesus and he washed your sins away and he made you brand new? White as snow. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm not going to act up today. But I'm just saying, I know I experienced a very happy day. The many days he's washed my sins away. It ain't just one day. It's the many days he's washed my sins away. Okay? Oh, happy day. Oh, Oh, happy day when Jesus washed, when I accepted him into my life, when I accepted him into my life, when he washed my sins away. All you got to do is believe, but I'm going to just leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. But let me say this too. I'm going to try to move on. This music is so iconic. And I think about the composer and the arranger, you know, the arrangers, the composers, all the people. I'm thinking about the Hawkins family, Edwin Hawkins and the Hawkins singers. I'm thinking about Mervyn Warren. I'm thinking about those two people in particular because this arrangement is Mervyn Warren's arrangement, but the original arrangement is Edwin Hawkins' arrangement, but it's from an old hymn from Philip Doodridge, Doddridge, I forget his name, but it's, it's kind of like a remaking of this song. So Warren rearranged Edwin Hawkins' version of the arrangement. If that makes sense. But I think about, you know, Mervyn Warren and because he was so pivotal in the Handles Messiah Sofa Celebration and I love that project, love that project. It just kind of reminded me how impactful his ear and his musicianship was and is to my musical life and to a lot of us my age and beyond and older and younger. It's Warren's mastermind behind these arrangements that we love so much, that we sing in our churches, that we sing all the time. It's his brain and it's Edwin Hawkins' brain. You you know, I mean, Evan Hawkins made a huge statement and it was a trailblazer for gospel music when he made the original gospel arrangement of Oh Happy Day. You know, so even thinking back to the Hawkins family, how much I love them. For those who know me, know I love me some Lynette Hawkins Stevens. That is one of my Mount Rushmore singers is Lynette Hawkins Stevens. I love Miss Lynette Hawkins Stevens and I love all the Hawkins. I listen to them to this very day, but it just shows you how iconic these arrangements of this song really is. I just want to give shout outs to them and to just say, 
oh, here are your flowers, everything. You know, Mervyn Wine, God bless you. Thank you so much for your arrangements, you know. And the Hawkins family, we love you as well. Seriously. Did you hear the little slide? Oh, happy day. They had a vocal cassando coming off of that day. Oh, happy day. It was very slight, but you can hear it. You can hear it. She is grinding every little vowel, every phoneme. I love that. Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore thee. You see how I'm adding like schwa's or shadow vowels to what I'm doing? So instead of joyful, joyful Lord, she did joyful, joyful Lord. So you see how I'm adding diphthongs and things like that to the words, we adore thee. Yeah, that's what she's doing right here. She's adding these shadow vowels and things. It's so good. God of glory, Lord of love. Love. She kind of added some nasality in the end of love. Love. So the soft palate or the velum kind of came down. God of glory, Lord of love. You see what I'm saying? I kind of added that little soft palette dropping towards the end of the word love. The word is love, but she said love. And she also added a little bit of a flatter blade of the tongue to love. So between those two things moving, she has love. She changed the vowel, adding vowels, adding shadow vowels in there. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee. Hearts unfold, instead of hearts, she took the R out. Hearts unfold like flowers. She really uses this nasality. Mm-hmm. as the sun above. Sun above. She blended the last letter of sun, or the last phony, which is at N, the nasal consonant. Sun above instead of sun above. Above, sun above. You see what I'm saying? She blended all those words together. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness. Did you hear melt? That T was there. Melt the clouds of. That T was very pronounced. All of her articulation is very on purpose. She's doing everything on purpose. Very intentional. She's shaping it the way she wants to shape it. She's doing it just like she wants to do it. Those little slides. You see what I'm saying? Little vocal cosandos right there. She's again using that nasality, playing with the tongue shape, all of that stuff she's doing. And she's adding that little attitude in there. But the consonants are kind of lighter here in friction, you know, but she's choosing when she wants to have more harder consonants and lighter consonants. Give her Light. Light. I look like Yoda flips in there. And then she went to the second part of the diff song on light. Light fill us. So she went to that second part of the diff song at the end of light, but she stayed on the first part on the walk down. Light fill us. Whatever note that was, but you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Lip pucker, free loves with the vocal slide right there. Mm -hmm. It is getting thicker, beefier right here. With a light, oh, 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 she played with that oval. Oh, 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 
whatever she did right there. But she played with the shape of the O. You see how she changed the O so many times? Uh, oh, 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 feel us. Something like that. But yeah, she did it. direct whoopee okay <laughs> you better direct and she sounded good on the la la la's too those chords there dry the dog those are very intricate and very ding 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 mm -hmm. This arrangement is nice. If you really take the time to listen to the chordal structures of his arrangements, specifically in this one, do, 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 something like that. I don't really know it, but it's something like that. It's nice. You see how animated their voices are? Even in the rapping, there's intentionality in tonality. They're very animated. Okay, so even in rapping, there's intentionality in tonality. Intentionality in pitch and tonality, for sure. too. I wanted to sing that part so bad when I was little in that choir that I used to be in. I didn't get to sing that part though. <laughs> but a common join the chorus, the mighty mighty chorus. I still want to sing that part to this day. Let me sing that with somebody. Which the morning star pick up. I can do it. Be clear. I can do it. <laughs> Either way. nothing like the experience of gospel music. There's nothing like it in all the world. There's nothing like it in all the world. I will stand 10 toes in that. There is nothing like it in all the world. I'm not belittling any other experience, any other genre, whatever, but there is nothing like gospel music. There is nothing like gospel music. That's why you see a lot of these award shows. They have the gospel choirs up on the choir stand or on the stage with the artist at some point in any given point during an award show, during a special, during a concert, because there's something about the gospel choir that is just so amazing. The experience, the sound, the energy, even if you don't believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, there is still something to be said about the experience, the energy, the spirit of gospel music. And that's why so many people love it. So many people want to sing it. So many people want to sing like it. So many people want to emulate it because there's such an element of spirit filled energy and amazingness in gospel music and in gospel choirs. There's something in gospel choirs, y'all. Remember that there's a reason why they are stuck around. There is something amazing in gospel choirs. such a thick, beefy, wonderful voice. It just soars. And she knows how to shape it. She has such a powerful instrument. 
I bet you she would sing some good like power ballads. She would smash some good power ballads. He's using that head voice stuff in here. He's being very smart. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm so glad that he's still able to navigate what he wants to do and still sing the iconic lines that he had in the song, even today, 30 years later. moments like that where you can relive a wonderful time in your life. I love culminating and celebrating those moments and bringing people back who are still with us and who want to come back and let's just have this moment to relive it for a minute because I'm sure it was such a wonderful experience making that movie with all those kids and that's probably why Whoopi is very emotional. I don't know why I'm just inferring, you know, why she's so emotional, but it's an emotional moment to see those people you saw as kids, now grown adults singing with you these same songs and everything. It is so wonderful to see that happen, you know? I love moments like that. And for the record, how does Shirley Ralph look exactly the same? <laughs> she has not changed one bit. That's crazy. <laughs> If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And give this a thumbs up as well so we can get out to more people. And as I will always continue to say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware. But most of all, be vocally you. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon.